We just got a goalie goal, and it was from my local CHL team, the Halifax Mooseheads. And man, what a goal it was. Mathis Rousseau is already one of the best goalies in the CHL, and now he's scoring goals. This was the first in Moosehead history. They were playing Rouen Naranda. Up 5-3 when Rousseau gets the puck. And with time, it's a simple flip in the net. Cue the announcers. Cue the video going completely viral. I mean, it's extremely hard to do this, and he made it look easy under pressure. But not only did Rousseau score the first Mooseheads goalie goal in history, he's just been having a phenomenal season. He is the best goalie in the queue. In nine games this season, he has a league-leading GAA of 1.77, a league-leading save percentage of 0.942, and a record of 8-1. and one. This guy is an absolute animal. He was last year, and it seems like he somehow improved even more. But this is where I want to transition from talking about just the goalie goal to more Mooseheads coverage. Those of you who have been watching the channel know that I try to cover the Mooseheads extensively as a special little program on the channel. Well, we've got some catching up to do. If you want to stick around, I'm going to talk about their current season and at the end of the video, actually go back to recap how the playoffs ended. You guys probably remember I was doing vlogs for most of the year. I never got to finish the playoffs because, well, I was busy with the NHL. All right, so last year, the Mooseheads had a record-setting season in terms of team success. This year, they started off a little bit slower, but I mean, as of right now, they're still 8-3-1. and Good enough for third in the Eastern Conference of the QMJHL. However, I think that number's fairly misleading because the Mooseheads had several of their players away at NHL camps, and the big one just returned for that game against the league's best, Ruen Naranda Huskies. I'm talking about Jordan Dumay. He's just a phenomenal player, a Columbus draft pick. I actually thought he might crack the roster this year. They petitioned for him to play in the AHL, but no, he's back with the Mooseheads, and in his first game, put up five points in including a hat trick. So that's good. The Mooseheads were good before getting their NHL players back, but now with Dume and the others back from camp, I think they have to be, if not league favorites, near the top. Dume put up 140 last year, although he was also playing often with Josh Lawrence or Alexandre Doucette. I'm really curious to see what he can get to this season, even missing those 10 games. He's definitely one of those players who has just kind of outskilled the CHL, but because of the weird rules, like with Shane Wright last season, he's kind of just stuck here. Anyway, Brandon and I are going to try to get to a game as soon as we can. I want to add some fun aspects to these vlogs where maybe we'll go check out a the restaurant or bar as a sort of extra which can come after or before the game coverage if there's something that you would like to see because we're about a lot more than just the actual game which I know only some of you care about and are really trying to share the sort of junior hockey experience in a really unique city Halifax I mean this team routinely sells 8,000 plus tickets for regular season games which is just crazy I'm actually gonna email the media guys see if I can get the numbers for this year but let's go back to last season because I was talking about the Mooseheads run. They made it to the QMJHL finals. We're hoping to stamp their ticket to the Memorial Cup, but what happened? Well, they faced off against just a stacked Quebec Ramparts team, a team which hadn't lost a single game up until that point. They were 12-0. and And man, it was a close series. Quebec beat them up the first game 5-1. The Mooseheads came back 6-3. Then they'd go on to lose two by one goal, including one in overtime. However, the Mooseheads would win the critical game five, taking us to game six and this one I'm not going to lie it was heartbreaking the Moosehead scored with under five minutes left to take a 4-3 lead but with two minutes left Ramuski would tie it off a deflection then this goal it was just brutal terrible cross ice pass the ramparts go in on basically a 2 on 0 Rousseau would miss the poke check and that would be it 5-4 to four of the final score and Quebec would win the QMJHL championship and go on to the Memorial Cup to be honest although I felt bad about how the series ended. Quebec was a better team. I think they were more physical. Even in game six, when the Mooseheads were up 4-3, Quebec had looked better up until that point. So it was hard to feel disappointed because the team did all they could. Quebec was just unreal though. They also had a very old team. Pretty much all of their scorers have aged out. Some going to the NHL or the AHL, like Zachary Bolduc, who's now playing for Springfield. And they're pretty much in full rebuild. Even their star goaltender, also named Rousseau, has been traded. And that's kind of how the CHL is. 
is. You've got short windows, quick rebuilds, you'll sell the farm for a couple of years of relevancy. Quebec, by the way, would then go on to win the Memorial Cup, beating the Seattle Thunderbirds in the championship game 5 to nothing. Could have been the Mooseheads, could have been. Maybe it will be this year. Going into their game against Rouen Naranda, before that win and before the return of Rousseau, plus one more win, the Halifax Mooseheads were third in CHL power rankings. But we'll see how it goes and I will be there. Let me know how many Mooseheads videos would you guys like to see this year? Once a month, once every couple weeks, once every three months. What kind of non-game review content did you enjoy or do you think you might enjoy? Let me know all that and more down below. See you guys soon.